The Shoalhaven is prized for its unspoiled beaches, abundance of natural beauty and wildlife, and its relaxed lifestyle. Spanning across 4,000 kilometres on the south coast of New South Wales, the region is valued by residents and tourists alike for its strong community spirit and connection to nature. For many, the impact of the bushfires in the summer of 2019 not only devastated the land and the wildlife, but also the very spirit of the Shoalhaven community. The Currawan and Combaton fires saw over 80% of the Shoalhaven impacted, with hundreds of thousands of hectares of natural environment burned, hundreds of homes destroyed, and, tragically, three lives lost. After 74 days, the fires were extinguished. The 7th of February 2020 marked the end of the fire and the start of recovery. Michael, I'm the local Catholic priest here um, in Milton and that takes in the communities of Ulladulla and Sussex Inlet and places all around and one of our commitments at the moment as a, a faith community is to be out in the community and supporting people, particularly people in need and following the devastating black summer bushfires, we saw this space as an opportunity to support people in a variety of ways. So the past year for our local community has been very uh, unsettling, but it's been extraordinary to see the resilience of people. There's been a lot of pain and there still is a lot of fragility among our community. And particularly now that the um, you know, immediate needs have been in some ways responded to, shelter and safety, now people are dealing with some very strong internal emotions and there's a strong need, we believe, uh, for people to tell their story, to do that in a safe way, to do that in a non-threatening way, and to do that in a creative way. Hi, I'm Peter Dover, and I'm from Salt Ministries here in the Shoalhaven. And we just work with those that are struggling and those that have been struggling throughout the Cohen bushfires. We've just been helping in the area of Neriga, in the area of Kangaroo Valley, and in the area of Conjola Park. We have now marked the one year anniversary of the Cowan bushfires that wreaked havoc in the Shoalhaven. Unfortunately, recovery takes some time. Many have lost homes and suffered damage to property and many are still working out the trauma they've endured. It's important that every person impacted in our community knows that they seek the support of the broader community. You don't need to do it alone. There are organisations for you to connect with and together we can shoulder the journey of recovery. The strength of a community is grounded in its ability to reach out and connect to one another in the midst of suffering and great hardship. The people of the Shoalhaven rose to the challenge last year with grit and determination. We face such great devastation and we continue to rise every time we reach out to one another and offer support. Our effort, our finance, our love and our hope for a better tomorrow. Each of us have this unique opportunity to be the light in someone's darkness, to love our neighbour, to care for the poor, downtrodden or homeless, remembering that we have a God who loves us exactly as we are. And as we allow that love to grow, we start to radiate light 
and that light is contagious. As we move together into 2021, I'm confident that we have an incredible road ahead of us as a community with fresh vision towards the future. Let's walk in solidarity with one another because collectively we are the Shoalhaven. My name is Jan Fricken. I, I am, at the moment, I am the, I own a supermarket in Batemans Bay, but I also a co-facilitator of the Show Heaven and Europe Dala Multicultural Group. And uh, before that, for about 12 years, I was working for uh, Illawarra Multicultural Services, providing support uh, to migrant refugees. So we started the Facebook group called South Coast Community Support Group, which I mean focus on at that time uh, bushfire support. And uh, not knowing that job would become a full-time job for a few months for me. And so, so what 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 we did as a group, you know, like I said, my strength is in community development. So what we did as a group, we actually asked people out there, you know, what they can help. You know, for example say people from Long Beach will be moving, will be evacuated to another area. Someone would contact us or private message me, I guess, that, okay, I have a bed, I have two bedroom, I have queen's bed, I have horse float, I have car, and that's how I can help, so, and so on and so on. And, and that's when the first time that I actually feel, wow, you know, this is, this is really powerful, this is, that the, the the strength of the community, you know, when, you, when I think back each time about that, I still cry and can't believe how everyone have come together to support each other. I still see people every day, most day of, of the week, coming to talk to me and, and we still have tears. And so nonetheless, you know, I think this bushfire thing, there's one beautiful thing about this bushfire is it actually brings community closer and it's sad but at least we will learn from, from what's happened in the last past year. And I just hope that, you know, the community will be connected just like that in the future. My name is Vic Channel, and I'm the Deputy Chair of the Aldola Aboriginal Lands Council. I provide a number of services in my community, including welcome to country, smoking ceremonies, uh, bush tucker tours, history tours, um, as well as cultural education. Uh, my role in the community, I represent our local land council in various areas. Um, also support our local members and uh, neighbouring communities as well. Yes, after the year that we've had with 2020, um, you know, the country's sick. It's been sick for a very long time. And uh, after the fires and all the devastating stuff that's happened in 2020, we still have a lot of cleaning up, a lot of work to do before we can restore our country to the way it needs to be. Not only that, you know, the effects of uh, losses of homes, and wildlife and, and uh, you know, just uh, other resources in the country, it's, um, absolutely devastating you know the emotional and mental effect that it's taken its toll on people as well one thing that represents our community most the, the one thing that stands out to me is the strength of people um, you know uh, very emotional devastating traumatic times for a lot of people especially those that have lost their homes and and things like that um, myself my grandparents and family members and close friends lost their places and you know it's devastating for me sitting back and even looking out on country now and seeing a lot of country without any canopy on the trees and scorch burnt land and it's just very devastating and uh, I, I think the way we go from here is not only to work together as one but um, to rebuild for the for the better of our next generations to come. Um, I think the strength of our communities and the, our people ourselves is the one thing that stands out the most. Hi, I'm Mayor Amanda Finlay. The challenges of 2019 and 2020 may be behind us for now, but we still have a way to go in our resilience journey. And the way that we can do that is to work together and to continue to keep our community bonds. 
The Stay Kind movement asks us to consider doing one act of kindness every single day. And even when we're at the depths of darkness, if we can reach out and do something like that, that'll make an amazing difference, not just for ourselves, but for the recipient of our act of kindness. Make 2021 your year of acting kind, of being a community focused person. We've got so many of them in the Shoalhaven that we've got a lot to celebrate. And by the time we get to our second anniversary of the tragedies that we've been through, we'll be in a better place. I'm positive of that. We can remain optimistic. We can go on the resilience journey together. We've got some way to go, but so far we've done really well. So let's lift one another up. Let's continue to do the hard work together and we'll get there. Thanks, Shoalhaven. One year on, there have been heartwarming stories of support shared within the community. Today, we recognise the contribution, the generosity and the goodwill of those who came to the aid of Shoalhaven residents during the bushfires. There are countless residents, emergency support services, volunteer groups and community service providers, not-for-profits and government agencies who went above and beyond to protect our community. Yet, we need to remember that recovery always takes time and that every individual is at a different stage of their recovery journey. So, let's stay connected and committed to supporting one another as people begin to rebuild, re-establish and grow together.